This is Luna, and this is Maya, and today they will be making my sims. Yes, my guinea pigs are going to create sims. I saw Lauren's side do a similar video with her dog and decided to do the same. Today it's Luna's turn. Everything will be quite self-explanatory, so let's just jump into the video. First, I had her choose a frame, with one being the smallest and four being the biggest frame. And she chose four. So here I'm making the sim, this is the base sim, and I made her like I made her very curvy. Because that's what Luna wanted. The next one will be skin tone. One being the lightest skin tone and four being the darkest. Come Four! She chose four again. So Luna chose to give her sim a very dark skin color. I decided not to go with an EA skin color but with a custom one because I just thought it was a nicer skin color basically. Okay now <laughs> we're gonna do eye color now. One, the this will be brown, this will be blue, green and grey. Kies maar! Kies maar! You're not so slim, eh? Kies! Four again! Since Luna chose number four, we are giving the sim grey eyes. I believe I changed the eyes later on again, but for now, this is the result. For the hair color, We've got five options. We've got blonde hair, brown hair, black hair, red hair, and fun colors. Yeah, she chose two! Finally, another co uh, color, another number, I mean. So this sim's gonna have brown hair. So here I'm giving her the brown hair color, which I thought it was difficult because how are you gonna create contrast between her dark skin color and the brown hair? That was a challenge for me when I was choosing when I'm choosing the hair later. Also, I'm doing the bone structure here. I wanted to, um, you know, make my sim a bit different from first of all the base sim that we started with, but also I wanted to make her different from the sims that I usually make. I think I did quite all right, uh, but let me know if you like this sim. I went way too much into the details, as you can see, with the nose mask and all that stuff. But that's just the way I create sims. I know it takes so much time, but I think the results of these very little details are so worth it. So yeah, just giving her eyelashes and that's it for now. Next one will be hair length, with one being the shortest and four being the longest. Four. I think she likes four a lot. So Luna chose the very long hair option. This was a struggle because at first I tried all the like longest hairstyles that I have in my game, but none of them fit the style of clothing that this sim is gonna have at all. So at some point I gave up finding a very long hairstyle in the style that I needed to find it. So I went with just a normal long style. You see it later. It's a nice wavy curly hairstyle and I am I'm not like it's not the best hair that I imagined but it's the best that I can do. Next one is style. I've got seven options. Kijk dan, je moet wel goed kijken. The last one again. The clothing option that Luna picked was vintage clothing. So what I try to do is I try to find one of those vintage rock and roll dresses. That's also why I wanted the curly, elegant hairstyle, if that makes any sense. So eventually I settled with this uh, blue dress with flowers on it, which I think is super cute. 
I ended up giving her black heels and I, I'm not sure if you can see it but the heel itself is like a bluish color just like her dress so I thought that was a perfect match. And now we've got makeup with number one being the most natural look and number four being the most glam look. Come on, All right. Okay, so Luna chose much makeup. And I don't know what it is about the combination of options that Luna chose, but it was so hard. Eventually, I ended up not even giving her so much makeup because it just wouldn't work out. Like the colors didn't look right on her eyes and you know, it just looked too much and I do, did want it to look good if that you know right that, that makes sense right anyhow and the lipsticks oh I wanted to give her a bright red lipstick but as you can see they all look so drawn on and ugly and I was like no please I just want a good nice red lipstick so if you know a very good bright lipstick that works with very dark skin tones and doesn't look like it's drawn on please let me know because I need it so yeah I gave her this flower in her hair I thought that was very fitting and as soon as I finally choose her lip color I also gave her some accessories uh, I thought pearl accessories were typical of that kind of look so I gave her you know pearl earrings and pearl necklace I also gave her a tattoo don't ask me why but I felt like this girl would have a tattoo um, I struggled finding a nice one but I ended up giving her one on her back and you know with the um, off-shoulder dress I thought that looked very cute so that's what I went with I think I gave her her traits off screen, but I based her traits on Luna and like how she is. Luna is a hyperactive, very confident uh, kind of uh, guinea pig. <laughs> that sounds so weird, but you know, I gave her the dance machine and the active one because that really suited her. I did give her the cat lover. I found that very fitting for this sim. I don't know why I didn't choose self-assured now I think about it, but sure. And I gave her the soulmate aspiration. I thought, I don't know, maybe it's the flowers, but it just felt right. So this was it for now. Here are some screenshots of The Sim. Let me know in the comments if you liked this video and if you want to see another one, because of course you haven't seen Maya Sim yet. So let me know if you want to see Maya Sim as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all next ba next bye. Next time. Bye! <laughs> can I can high five? <laughs>